unprecedented events in Greece are weighing heavily on everyone's mind, not least local and regional authorities. Despite the government walking away from the negotiation table, the European Union is doing everything in its power to find a solution that's acceptable to all and to take the pressure off Greek citizens. Together with the Central Union of Municipalities and the Greek delegation, the EPP group in the Committee of the Regions wants Greece to remain on the European track. More details about the situation will be presented during the EPP group meeting on the 7th of July. But this is not the only challenge facing the European Union. In addition to steering Europe back to growth and job creation, the Luxembourg presidency has also identified energy and climate change as a top priority. Meeting at the European Committee of the Regions on the 8th and 9th of July, mayors, regional presidents and local councillors from across Europe will debate the road to Paris. This marks the midway point between the birth of the Energy Union and the UN Climate Change Conference in Paris in December. Maros Shevkovic, Vice President of the European Commission, will underline the need for support at local and regional level if the EU's climate and energy policies are to be a success. Pascal Mangin, the COR rapporteur on the Energy Union, will reply on behalf of the EPP group. Increased population of European urban areas also calls for new thinking. With 80% of the population expected to be working or living in urban areas by 2050, this is also the time to innovate how cities and towns are conceived, built and developed. Carlos Muedas, the European Commissioner in charge of research, science and innovation, will make the case for more investment and entrepreneurial support on the second day of the plenary session. This will also be the occasion to award the winners of the European Entrepreneurial Region Award. Turning to the opinions on the agenda, Nikolaos Chiotakis will present his views on the steps to take towards a new European neighbourhood policy. This is just months after the fourth Eastern Partnership Summit in Riga, where EU leaders confirmed the importance of cooperation in this area. Roland Freudenstein, Deputy Director and Head of Research at the Martin Center for European Studies, will join the EPP group meeting ahead of the plenary to share his views on the future relations with Europe's neighbors. To conclude, Ivan Jagar will examine the outcome of the negotiations between member states and the European Commission on the strategic investment plans, in his opinion, on the partnership agreements and operational programs. Whilst the summer holidays have arrived for many, the work in the European Union will continue.